Hey, hello guys, uh, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube channel. Uh, you all know myself, Harry. So today we are going to see another one interesting topic uh, because many of them requested me in all videos comments. Uh, they wanted to know more about uh, AWS interview. Okay, so many of them a uh, bit confused like how we are going to uh, prepare uh, for AWS interview, how we are going to face uh, AWS interview. Okay, so many of them having that confusion. Today, by end of this video, right, I'll make sure each and every one of you, right, will get that confident to face the interview. Uh, why I'm telling with that much confident is uh, in this total uh, next five ten minutes, right, you are going to get the complete information on the flow, how to prepare and how to face the AWS uh, DevOps interview. Okay, that is what my overall uh, uh, preparation about this particular video. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first, right, if you take any uh, interview, uh, obviously every interviewer, right, will ask you to give your uh, self introduction. Correct. In that self introduction, of course, everybody will start with uh, uh, the self personal detail. Uh, myself, this is the one I'm coming from this particular location. I have these many siblings. These are my parents. I have this is my uh, degree. This is my uh, graduate on this particular platform. This is my native place. They are giving this personal information. They'll forget about it. Personal information, right? It's totally up to you. Whichever you wanted to convey, you can go with that or you wanted to, you know, uh, not uh, much interested in sharing your personal information totally up to you that will not going to impact your interview at all okay the very next point right we are going to uh, tell more information about the project information and your current infrastructure that is really really matters okay so of course I'm not telling you to uh, convey your current uh, product project uh, name or your client name and all that's not really needed uh, that's again confidential to you also I, I I trust that and I I respect that as well so project information mean you can tell them in a high level in diplomatic way currently I'm supporting for you know finance based company currently we are working in healthcare based company currently we are supporting pharma based company like on the diplomatic way word you can use and you can tell and introduce your client and you have to talk about your current infrastructure so here i wanted to uh, convey two information one is the people who already working in aws platform they doesn't have any problem they already well exposure and they have a good knowledge with explaining their current infrastructure the people number two right uh, those people may not aware how the current infrastructure will looks like and uh, what we need to convey during the interview about current infrastructure see here for your uh, understanding i have bought uh, one of my uh, current uh, project infrastructure here you can see there are two vpcs available one is in uh, mumbai another one is in singapore inside the vpc we have a public subnet and uh, in another uh, singapore uh, vpc you can find public and private vpcs where we are having our uh, easy to instances are running on both the VPCs and we have established the VPC peering between uh, Mumbai region and Singapore region. Also, we do have uh, web servers and database servers. We have enabled auto scaling load balancers for high availability. We have established the VPN connectivity to my uh, customer on premises data center and we have IAM policy roles, everything available. Yeah, of course, just I have explained everything in quick way. I have dedicated one video for this uh, infrastructure explanation. If any people who doesn't have a real practical AWS uh, uh, infrastructure uh, experience, I am strongly recommending you to go ahead and watch my video. I will share the link on this description. Okay, If you refer to this particular video description, you will get the uh, current infrastructure, the infrastructure diagram, whatever you are seeing in the screen. right? This infrastructure has been explained on the particular video. Okay, So I will share that in the description. Okay, next point, we should tell about our roles and responsibility in our current project. Okay, why I'm asking you to convey all this information in the self introduction itself? See, self introduction is the platform, uh, is the opportunity to you to explain the complete thing. In this, in this, uh, during this self introduction explanation, right, the interviewer will not interrupt you. So that whatever information you wanted to convey, right, majorly you can convey those information. So you will get on clarity what infrastructure you are currently working and what is your roles and responsibility. Okay, coming to roles and responsibility, again, it has various category. It's decide based upon your uh, number of years of experience what you are having in the product. Okay, currently, uh, think, okay, you may have a fresher, you may have a two years experience, you may have a five years experience, or you have a 10 years experience, you have a 15 years experience. Each designation has its own, uh, each year of experience has its own designation. So for that, right, I already have another one dedicated video. What will be our roles and responsibility in cloud platform when I'm holding this much years of experience, when I'm holding that much year of experience. 
I also going to share that uh, roles and responsibility video also in the uh, description. Okay, go ahead and have a look on it so that you will get some clarity when you are not work on actual AWS project. Okay, so again, don't misunderstand me or mistake me. Everything I am having separate video, nothing. These are all already we have covered. Uh, people who are following me, they might have aware that we are uh, serious. This is not a one video. This is actually a serious. So people who are newly looking at this video, right? They may have some background uh, knowledge. That is what I am telling. And uh, each and every video unique about myself, right? I won't make you guys feel bored. Uh, like uh, you will get every video on five to ten minutes only. That is what. Okay, both the videos. I mean about the cloud infrastructure, about the roles and responsibility. I have a dedicated video. I share both the links in the description of this particular video. Okay, this is should you all have to cover in the self introduction part. Now onwards, your interviewer will start ask question. About you, okay. Mostly, right? Uh, people, if you go for generic AWS uh, interview, you will be expecting the questions from these are the services, okay. So generally, if you take any AWS interviews, you would have, uh, you know, should have the knowledge on uh, probably 10 to 15 AWS service that is really really mandatory, which are commonly using in every cloud platform. Okay, so I'll talk about that services first. IAM is the primary thing because without IAM, uh, none of the project infrastructure will not be. So IAM identity and access management, where we are managing our uh, user and permissions and privileges, access part, you know, all these things taken care of the IAM. Second service is EC2 because without server we cannot see any uh, infrastructure. So EC2 is another one uh, uh, important service. Here we can expect almost uh, maximum of questions because without EC2 interview will not complete. That is that much important it is. So coming to VPC, right? VPC is another important thing. Uh, networking basically because networking service is the backbone of our com complete AWS actually. Correct. So how we are configuring our network, how we are configuring a private uh, connection, how we are managing the public connection, how securely we are managing our infrastructure. That is the main, main, main thing about the VPC service. That is another important service. And coming to fourth one, that is S3. Uh, S3 is a storage service. Every project, if you go AWS, right, people will be, you know, using uh, S3 servers. I can even tell you in another word, without S3, none of the project uh, will be in AWS, okay? The storage service, we have to uh, understand the many things. So why I have bought load balancer and auto scaling together? This is one of the key points when talking about high availability on AWS. When people wanted to decide to go with high availability and uh, failover on that that perspective right people definitely will go for taking load balancer and auto scaling of course in load balancer we have a multiple type so uh, uh, talking about aws high availability and failover there are two key points one is load balancer and auto scaling and coming to monitoring perspective and uh, coming to log management perspective aws providing cloud watch and cloud trial the very basic service and important service as well this is also a key point when you are uh, attending interview if you have a pre knowledge with cloud watch and cloud trial together and coming to database perspective, yeah, I recommend all of you to go with RDS. Uh, if you, yeah, we have a dedicated database team will be there in every project. But if you have somehow, if you have a basic knowledge with RDS or if you have a detailed knowledge with RDS, that will be added advantage to you. Okay. And coming to uh, resolving, resolving or uh, connectivity, uh, connectivity in the sense and host name to IP and IP address to host name connectivity or website resolving internally, exposing your application public outside with uh, pointing to a specific domain name and all, everything will fall under route 53. Okay. So finally, organizations. I I'm, I'm, I know that out of you know uh, 100 people, 90 people may not aware about there is a service called AWS organizations. Yeah, of course. The organization service, right, will help you to manage your multiple AWS account. Can't understand, right? See, when you take a project, nowadays people are maintaining production account. They have a dedicated uh, uh, AWS account. Uh, sandbox, okay. I mean, pre-prod, they have a dedicated AWS account, and also we have a, uh, a development UAT. We have a dedicated account. When you are having an organization where you are having multiple AWS account, organization service is the best key point. I mean, centrally, I can manage all my organization's AWS account. I can centrally manage the billing. I can centrally secure my AWS. Account through SCP policy. Today's world, almost all the customers are started using AWS organization service. But the fact thing about 
none of the people uh, might not have detailed idea about aws organizations uh, so i also going to provide that uh, video link also in our description go ahead and get benefited with that and today every people is expecting that you should have the aws organization service knowledge that is very very important long run for the future purpose also people will definitely go and use the organization service okay fine so another one is aws itself they are providing an automation service called lambda we have to uh, have a clear cut idea about lambda and the cloud formation infrastructure as a code so aws is providing involved uh, uh, infrastructure as a code uh, tool we are having we should have a clear, clear cut idea about the cloud formation as well and finally notification services i am completing with sns and ses totally that is for you know optional if we have that that will be a little uh, benefited okay uh, this is what the important aws services guys so yeah of course we have 100 plus services available in aws it's not sure like uh, if you have additionally something that's totally fine if you are having limited something that also totally fine but this is the fundamental services you should be have a good idea before attending for any aws interview coming to devops perspective right of course i'm going to include some point about uh, devops also so people who are uh, working and who are attending interview for aws and devops we have some important services available for devops as well first thing about python boto3 because nowadays in every aws project right aws itself they have provided a api called boto3 through the boto3 only we are going to automate it so if you are expertise on python boto3 right we do have uh, opportunity to work with lambda automation we have opportunity to work with uh, jenkins based pipeline and all so if you are not uh, sure about uh, python boto3 right i am recommending all of you to go ahead and uh, learn the knowledge on python boto3 very very important for the future it's very uh, more uh, demand going to come for boto3 that is what i can tell you today now hmm? and coming to terraform or cloud formation yeah of course both are infrastructure as a code tool it's basically a template where we can create terraform and cloud formation you know cloud formation is the default inbuilt tool of aws uh, terraform here is right it's a open source tool which supports multiple platform correct it can support aws azure gcp in terms of provisioning the resources if you have any one tool knowledge right that will be really really advantage to you okay if in terms of provisioning the infrastructure and third one is jenkins cicd tool so whenever you wanted to create any pipeline whenever you wanted to you know uh, making any aws kind of job right i'm recommending if you have a uh, jenkins knowledge that will be really really good every project in devops they would have using jenkins okay without any uh, doubt and coming to that you should have any scm knowledge github or bitbucket any one that is fine uh, both are almost same only the interface only going to change uh, whenever in a project we are developing any uh, application our developer will be updating our source code into our scm either github or bitbucket that is really matters and finally i am concluding with uh, ansible and puppet that is another uh, important uh, configuration management tool where we have a multiple uh, servers in our environment right through ansible or puppet we'll have a control to manage all those uh, servers okay that is what really i wanted to say and if you are going deep dive with the devops uh, perspective right docker and kubernetes is really matters but i am not sure uh, there are nowadays dedicated docker and kubernetes engineers are being recruiting so i am not uh, involving more into docker and kubernetes okay fine guys this is all we wanted uh, in the perspective of aws and devops this is how your self introduction should be this is how our aws uh, preparation should be this is how your devops tool uh, preparation should be okay so during the interview if anybody asking that question which you are not really aware right so tell them in such a way currently i couldn't recollect okay i'll prepare i have a time i i can prepare it if you give me opportunity i'll prepare that i'll before joining to that concern right i'll make sure these are the tool will be covered like that answer it don't tell them no i know i don't have any idea don't use that kind of words okay what i'm telling if you are really not sure about any answers okay you can tell them in such a way currently i couldn't recollect okay a uh, long back i worked on that particular services recent days right i didn't get any opportunity to work on that so not an issue if it is really matters before joining to this company i'll uh, go through that whichever really matters uh, before i'll ensure that before joining to that company i will complete that and welcome like that you can give them a positive approach so that they will give you a you will you will get a very good you know impression on the interviewer okay this is what really all about fine i'll put more videos for that i need your support guys so do subscribe our channel and uh, whatever videos is given if you really like this like this uh, video share with your friends okay thank you uh, take care uh, thanks for watching this complete video